All right. Okay, welcome back. So, we were talking about before. Yes, you do have the option to put in a custom logo or what if you wish. My logos, yes, I found them, but they're the other images that are way too big. They're not the actual logo. So you notice down here that, yes, you have to provide the URL to the image that is posted on another server. So if your logo is already on a server, as long as you know the path to that, like nickrouse.com slash, you know, I normally put it into like an images folder. So it would be nickrouse.com slash images slash whatever the image's name is. That's what I would use. Here, because I use a content management system, it's a little bit more complicated than that. I don't know the exact location off the top of my head. So I'm not going to spend time searching for it right now because I'm running out of time. So the bottom line is, yes, you can, as long as the image is not any larger than 200 pixels wide and 75 pixels tall. Otherwise, it will do what to it? It will crop the image. You don't want that. And yes, you can preview your store at any time, and we'll bring up a pop-up window. That's slick. We'll bring up a pop-up window with all of your products. I'm going to continue now, so I'm satisfied with my colors, I guess. <coughs> I don't know if I approve of these colors. If I had more time, can I come up with a better color scheme? Yes. Now you notice we also have the option for sidebar widgets. Now, when I previewed that store, the sidebar widgets appeared over, I don't know about you, but if I'm going to have widgets on my page, I like to have widgets on the left. Why? People read from left to right. That's absolutely correct. So if I want to pick, if I'm a user and I want to, I want to perform a search inside one of these categories for mugs, glasses, or coasters. I can do it over here on the left instead of where you guys have seen it, which defaults over on the right. But ask me why Amazon defaults it on the right. But again, as a user, I like to make sure that I provide my audience with the ability on the left-hand side. Usability. Usability. That's what this textbook touches on an awful lot. Ah, display the selected widgets on the following pages. So, sidebar widgets. I am so, wait, I don't want people seeing my wish list. Do I? Unless no. you want people to buy oh, stuff. I don't want that. Now, now down here where it says customers who bought this also bought, yes, I do want that because when your affiliate ID is in there, somebody bought a product thanks to your ID, if they continue to go continue shopping, or commission. your commission. And why would I provide these reviews? Um, so that you can decide cool. on buying the correct product from my store. Very good. Very good. So yes. So I'm gonna. I'm, but I'm. Why again? I'm unchecking my wish list because I don't want people to have my. There's potty training stuff on my wish list. And I don't care for people to know what's on my wish list. I know I just told you. But you're my. You're my small audience. So. I'm going to uncheck my wish list. Unless, now unless, you are, how should I say this? Unless you're really good in your industry and you're going to recommend a whole bunch of products and you're going to throw them into your own wish list, things you wish you had. And then as you continue to build your reputation up, people will tend to say, hey, I should get. I should try out what these guys what these guys want because they are experts in their industry. So they know what they're talking about. So maybe I ought to go buy.
because they're suggesting if they want these things, and if I knew you well enough and I respected you enough in the industry, and I saw your list, your wish list, and I knew who you were, I'd say, hey, maybe I would want to try that. What can I use that for? Well, it has to be good. And I have to go look at what? Reviews. And why would I, again, why would I allow people to view reviews? Because you should be buying the correct product. You're not gonna buy, you're not gonna buy a product that has a half a star. Great. Or one star, because you're gonna do what inside your mind? You're gonna say what? It's not any good. It's not any good. I don't buy things that are two and a half out of five or lower. Why? Because I think that there's something wrong with this. If it's four and a half, granted, or four out of five, granted, there's going to be some people with issues. But if the general populace, and there's hundreds of reviews, and if there are only a couple of reviews, it's different for me, but if there's like hundreds of reviews, then I can trust the general population has not had problems with the problem. And I trust that. I'm very leery when I don't see any reviews on something. Because I'm sure somebody has bought this before. No, I'm not going to give Amazon the rating on the Hello Kitty cookie cutters that I bought last week. And no, it's not, you're not going to see those on here. You know, I have bought Hello Kitty cookie cutters on Amazon before. Um, I have a daughter, of course, if you don't know this. So, Okay, that's good. There, yes, that explains a lot, doesn't it? Yeah. So, hey, just be happy you weren't in my class where I lectured on toilet paper every night, okay? <laughs> that was also part of it. But never mind. <laughs> anyway, anyway, let's finish this. I don't know. Oh, I got 11 minutes left. Hold the cow. Let's finish this. So, finish and get like Now, again, what does Amazon give you the ability to do down here at the bottom? Preview. Preview it. So, if you don't like it, you can always go back and... Change it. There, now everything's on the left. I like that better. I don't know about the purple and the blue. I don't know about the stack here. Hey, look, shopping cart link. So wait a minute. So I can go, as a user, I can go back to my shopping cart at any time. Is that what you're telling me? And review what I clicked on? That's pretty cool. I like that. Or I can come up here and click on.
But if you're going to go individual products, yes, you can pick and choose which ones. So if I was to, if I was to only go with Venus products, I could. Because remember, I showed you guys that if I type the name in here, I get everything that's pertaining to Venus products. Right. Oh yeah, it's not that bad. I better finish this and get the link. So wait, so check this out. So my store has been published. Well, has it really been published? Does anybody know about my store yet? No, they don't. So look at the options that you have here. Specify how you would like to embed your store into your website. Number one, simple link. Well, that's boring. I don't want to just provide a link. I want the store to be inside my what? Inside my site. So you get two choices. Inline frames and frame sets. 233 students, pick it on you. There's not many of you now, two of you. 233 students, why would I choose? Okay, fine, I'll open it up to the floor. Why would I choose inline frame over frame set? In my page, why would I choose inline frame over frame set? Because frame sets are designed for what types of pages? Pages that have? Templates. Close. Base for the frame set is right. So frames based website. What is an old frames based website? You guys know this. An old frames based website had frame on the top, frame on the side. Kind of looked like this. Kind of looked. Oh God. <laughs> kind of looked like. I don't want to see that one again, so it's going to stay over there. So you have a frame on the top. Frame on the side, links here on the side. And each time you clicked on a link, content here would change. So you click on a link, this content here changes. And changes and changes and changes. So essentially a frame set is like having three different web pages. Every time you clicked on one of these links, this content would change, those two would remain the same. I don't like frame sets for many reasons. We teach them in CIS 233 still. We did, didn't we, Judy? We had, yes, you were, you were in that class last semester. <laughs> we had a night on frame sets. But I like, I like inline frames. I like inline frames because you don't have to build frame sets. You could put that frame in an individual web page. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do right now. So here's the link. Embedding my stores in my frame. So what do I have to do, everybody? I just have to do what? It's my two favorite words of all copy in coding. Paste. Copy and paste. Thank you very much. Yes, copy and paste. So I don't have to have this. I don't have to have that. I can just copy. Look. You have a little button here that says highlight HTML. I didn't have to do anything except to put that button. Then I copy it, right? Oh, wait, where's my coming through my page? Oh, here it is. So where do I paste it? Down here after additional products. Maybe I get rid of additional products. No way. That's it? That's all I had to do? Please, please don't tell me I'm right. Wow. It doesn't have to center it. <laughs> I have to center it. You can do that with a style. I can do that with H1, couldn't I? You can put this into an H1 tag, couldn't I? Well, what's the real way we want to do it? Like this, right? Mm -hmm. Judy makes a really good point. We could do it this way. All right, Judy, let's see if that works. Well, it moved it over left, but what happened? It didn't really do anything, did it? Yeah, it did. I don't know if I like that. What if we did each one? This is a really archaic way of doing it. Let's try it out. I'm always up for a challenge. Hmm. You know what? Is it because that table is 80%? Do I have to do it? Oh, I gotta do another damn table because I'm using tables. Part of my French B 
people viewing this at home. Fine. This one I'm going to do 100% though. Bear with me. Is there a frame box on the right? Actually, you know what? I, ah! Good point there too, Tom. Good point. There should be 100% on width. And you know what, though? I'll bet you, I'll bet you that because the other one is inside of the table, it didn't work at all, did it? Okay, you're back. That's right, I gotta put the damn style, I have to put my style, I have to put my style on there, too. Alright, let's do this.
Amazon? Yes. Why am I presenting Amazon? Because it is the easiest way for you to see how something like this works. And this is extremely easy. Think about that. If you go to companies, yes, if you go to major companies and they want you to, they've got a link for affiliate advertising or marketing, check it out. It's another way to monetize, even though some people really don't like to see ads. But yeah, you do get used to it, absolutely. I changed the percentage, by the way. I made the left 15%, right 25 and It centered it a little bit better. So I would have to play with my percentages a little bit. That's something you learned in CIS 233, not in AM. So, can I ask a question? How does somebody then on this website, because they want you to receive the commission on the computer they're going to buy, how do they how do they do that from here? It's already built in. I, I, it's not Nick Romcom, it's Ralph's dash something. So, say somebody clicks on, now I'm a user here, so let's say I click on, I have a glass instead of four, that's great. And I want to go in and I want to add this to my shopping cart. So here it is. So your, your affiliate ID is attached to those links. So if I wanted to send you a link for the textbooks, my affiliate ID is embedded inside of that link. If any of you saved those, saved those emails, you'll see when you hover over it, You'll see the nickrocom-20 inside the link. And you will also see that as well. So but when somebody goes to a shop, a store like this, they click the link, they buy it, your ID is attached to that. Whichever affiliate ID you chose. I chose a new one for this. So I have several different stores, but that's only because I'm doing this as a demonstration. Doing these as demonstrations. Now, now let me imagine something. You know, when, sure. I was selling, when I was selling books on Amazon, I had my own store site for my books. Uh -huh. If somebody goes on Amazon looking for a beer mug, and they, 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 they say, well, there's five sellers for these beer mugs, they may click on your Maybe. If you're the cheapest. Correct. If you're the, yeah. Now could you, now could you have your own items go on that you're selling on Amazon and go through a store like this too? Yeah, maybe you're only going to push your items. Yeah. You can do the same thing. Of course then, well you won't get the commission on top of selling your own items, but I mean, it's a way to sell your own items too. But how fast was that? I'm done. How fast was that? Nice looking. Does that mean we have to turn off the camera now? So, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our demonstration this evening. I want to thank you all for being here and humoring me. I will post this on nickrouse.com slash demo2. Have a fantastic evening. <laughs> Thank you to my